you have a few different selection tools available to you in the software um, and there are different ways to use them. So I wanted to take a little bit and get you a little more familiar with those tools. So first of all, there are ways to select elements just in the view window, just by clicking on them. Um, we've done this before in uh, earlier or, or different sessions, but um, we're gonna kind of expand on some of the tools that you have available to you. So to select something in just the view window, you can click on it to select it. And when you do that, the resize edit box will show up around whatever you have selected. You'll also see the wireframe points uh, appear around them. Uh, you'll see the entry and exit points of whatever you have selected. If you want to select multiple elements, you can hold control and click on any other elements that you want to select. So now I have these three pairs and this little walk stitch here. If you want to deselect one of those, you can uh, click on it while holding control and it will deselect one of the ones that you already had selected. So now I only have three pairs selected. If I want to deselect anything, or pardon me, if I want to deselect everything, I can click on a blank area of the view window. If you are so zoomed in that you can't get to a blank area of the zoom, pardon me, of the view window. So now I have something that's selected and I, I am so zoomed in that I can't get to one of those blank areas. Um, I can go to edit and I can say deselect all. And you'll notice over on the right hand side, that I have set up a keyboard shortcut for that. So through um, tools and accelerator editor, I have set mine up to be the tab key. That will be blank um, when you first load your software, but you can set up uh, keyboard shortcuts for yourself. So I do that, it is deselected. So let me zoom back so that I have just the bird on screen. Um, if I want to select multiple elements, you know that you can hold control while you're clicking and, and you get those. If I want to, I can also click and drag a box. And anything that is completely contained within the box um, I will be selected. So you'll notice that I'm not selecting the bird because I didn't drag the box around the whole yellow element. So that is not selected. All right. Now, uh, when you select things in the view window, you'll also notice that they're selected in the project view over on the right hand screen, uh, right hand side of the screen. You can see that they're highlighted in that dark gray. If I want, I can click on an element to select it in the project view. If I want to select multiple elements, I can hold shift. So I click on one, hold shift, click on another, and I select everything in between. So that's consecutive elements. I can click on one, hold control, click on another, and select non-consecutive elements. Uh, another kind of nice, handy thing to be able to do uh, is to select an element. And if I wanted to select all of the same type of element, uh, I could right-click, go to select, and say select same type. And now I have all of the walk elements in this design selected. So if I wanted to change the stitch length of all of my walks, I could do that. Or if I wanted to uh, adjust the density of all of my columns, um, I could right click, go to operations, sorry, go to select, uh, say select same type. And now I have all of the columns. So in this case, um, it, it is only the uh, leaves and the stem of the pear and then a little bit of the detail on the face. Um, I could go adjust the density of all of my columns. Now, I did something uh, really noticeable that's not going to sew out well, um, but I, I changed it to a 20 point density just so that you can see uh, that change really easily. So I'm going to uh, control Z. Um, to, to undo that. There we go. All right. Um, you also have the ability to select all or select the entire design. Um, and you can do that again through that right click menu. Select, you can do select all. Um, that's available via control A. Select entire design is control shift A. 
So if you have multiple uh, designs within a project, those are going to act a little differently. If you only have one design in the project, like we have right here, they're going to act um, pretty much the same way. All right, now we get into uh, some things that we've not discussed in other sessions. And, and so I'm going to click right here. So whenever, whenever you are selecting something on screen um, or, or in the view window, it's almost like uh, you're, you're touching the embroidery it's, and, and you can only get what you can touch. So if my hand is an embroidery element and I, I go to select, I'm only going to get what I'm touching. So I'm only going to get, in this case, my hand or in the case of the software, the bird. Um, if I wanted the table or in the software, maybe the yellow of the bird instead of the wing or whatever's underneath of it, I need to be to be able to kind of select through my layers. And there are a few different ways to do that. So when clicking on where I clicked, I got the detail of the bird's wing. But I also have um, these available to me so I can select the element below it if I click on an element like that. So select next element under point. There we go. Now I have the bird. And if I do it again, I will select the travel stitch underneath that. And if I do it again, nope, that's all I've got. So um, it's, it's very much where you click as to what you're going to select. So if I zoom in real close, oh, it's because uh, I clicked in an area I missed. Uh, what I meant to here, I have, again, that detail of the wing. And if I click on the previous element, I get the fill of the bird. If I click on it again, now I get kind of this quick, loose underlay stitch. If I click on it again, now I get a travel stitch. So before I was only getting three elements, here I'm getting four. It's because where I clicked, um, there were multiple, multiple elements that overlapped. So you're only going to get that, you know, if you click kind of right here where everything overlaps. All right. So these tools are very handy for kind of clicking down through your elements. Another way um, to kind of click through an element is to either hide it or lock it. So if I wanted to select um, the yellow of the bird and not get the outline, I could lock all of my outline elements and then I could click right on an outline and I would select through it. Um, hiding it will also get you that same result where you can select through it. So hiding or locking is a way to select through an element as is um, if you click on the element and you want to go down through the layers, you can uh, select previous element or if you want to come back up through the layers, select select next element. Um, and, and the under point just means under where you clicked. So that's, that's kind of how it decides what it allows you to, to select. All right. Um, another selection tool that you may not realize you have available to you is the custom point selection. Um, the name is a little bit misleading. It is the custom point selection tool, but you can select entire wireframe elements. You can select wireframe points if you're already in that selection mode, or if you are in expanded editing, you can select individual needle points with it. So um, the, the custom selection tool really has a lot of flexibility in how granular of, of elements it will let you select. And that is this little dotted star right here. So if I click on this, I can then click and drag a shape around what I want. And then when I hit enter, I've selected everything that is completely contained within what I selected. All right, so that's dealing with everything on the wireframe 
the, the, the whole element level. If I'm starting to deal with things on the, the wireframe input points that we're starting to deal with. So now I'm making sure that I have my toggle point list on and I'm going to expand this out so you can see all of these input points. If I wanted to start dealing with multiple points like this, um, the, those same selection kind of options exist to me. I can click on one, hold control, and get non-consecutive. I can click on one, hold shift, and I get consecutive, and that's in the project view. Um, in, in here, I can select one. If I hold control, I can get multiple elements. Uh, kind of an, another fun way to do this is clicking and dragging a box. Now, clicking and dragging a box deals with wireframe elements, but if I already have one selected, if I hold shift, and click and drag a box, I'm going to get the wireframe points that exist within that box. And so now I can grab multiple wireframe points and move them. Same thing if you're dealing with expanded editing. Um, you can hold shift and click and drag a box and, and get your, your uh, expanded points that way too. Now, uh, your custom selection tool, now that I'm working within this element, um, I can click and drag around points that I want. And now I've selected just those three points so I can drag them and change them. So your custom selection tool can, can be used to, to grab those points as well. And again, you press enter to, to complete that circle. All right. You have lots of uh, tools for selection available to you. Um, your right click menu for selecting the same type, for selecting all, you've got your custom selection, you've got select previous and next element, you've got all the click and drag of boxes. Don't forget that uh, hiding and locking are a way to click through an element, but now you've definitely got some ways of navigating through your space and selecting just what you want to edit.